Praise God this morning for this special place. Praise God this morning for this sanctified space. Praise God for this at a place of edification and encouragement. Praise God for this space of covering this morning, this synergized sisterhood. Praise God this morning that the lady you see on the screen, 86 years young, is here with us this morning. I better y'all to holler it out and make some noise in the chat this morning. Y'all can unmute and make some noise this morning for Mama D. Go on ahead. We hadn't seen her since she turned 86. Unmute. Y'all better unmute and scream. Glad to have you back, Joy. So glad that you're back. Yeah. Welcome back. Great to see you. God bless you. We missed you, Mama D. Glad to have you back today. Yes, look at God. And, and and as I'm just, as we are here looking and we've talked so much about Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton and uh, just Mama D navigating both of those storms actually and just what God has done. And even in this moment, even in this moment, there are people in Valdosta, Georgia who still don't have electricity. There are people in Valdosta, Georgia who still don't have internet. There are people in, in North Carolina that no longer have a home. <laughs> There are people in South Florida who lived already in low-income apartments and in the middle of the night. Nobody told them to evacuate Mama D, but in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, their apartment building was flooded. Their apartment building was flooded and the babies were being held in their mama's arms and God protected and kept them through the night. But see, they don't have any more physical things, Tiffany. They don't have any more physical things, but God kept them. And, and when we, when we, when we get in a space, Mama D, when we begin to feel kind of a little teeny bit like, woe is me about stuff, just hold on a minute. Just look around a net just a minute, and you will be able to praise God for what he does just by giving you the breath to wake up in the morning. Lord have mercy to stand up. And even if you can't stand up, if you can sit up, and if you, even if you can't sit up, you can look up. What? And we just got to be able to praise God for that. And I, I'm so thankful for this sisterhood. I'm so thankful for this woman right here that's next to me on the screen. I just want to see you, Mama D. That's why I got you right there. I just praise God for this space. He blessed me um, on last week to spend a week there in Baltimore, well, almost an entire week in Baltimore, Maryland. I'm at the National Council of Negro Women's Conference. And I can't even tell you, there's even no, there are even no words. There are even no words to describe. Uh, there are even no words to describe literally um, the feeling uh, that I had while I was there. And I, I continue to, I texted, I was texting and calling Sam, Mama D., so many different times and he was just so encouraging you know what i'm saying and he was just so it was just such an amazing thing and i got to share with y'all the um the um and i'm telling you you know the women that were there mama d were women that have made an impact across this country just working and done just working and just um given a um being self sacrificing and mama d mama d I fell in love with a 90-year-old um, a 90 year old sister. Y'all already know, 90. I'm going to show y'all her picture. She was 90 and fly. And we were walking around that convention center, Rochelle, and she's probably about my height, maybe a little shorter. And she walked that convention center with us. I was blessed to be able to go to lunch with her and meet her. And y'all already know, there was lights out. We sat by each other and it was it. Once we sat by each other, that was it. And so that night, um, she said, my girl, I'm going to probably have to use a scooter tonight to go to that um, banquet. And so um, when we got to the banquet, Mama D, I, we, we, again, we sat together. <laughs> we sat together. We sat together. And I um, I said, did you take a scooter? She said, girl, I was just playing with you. <laughs> Mama D, 90. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to, by the end of this, I'm going to show y'all that lady picture. 90 years old. Mama D, you think you look good. You want to look like her when you grow up, baby. When you grow up, you want to look like her. 
Um, but the thing about it, it was so many women. And, and Auntie Joyce, it wasn't about a college degree or your education or your net worth. It was just about women who want to work and make an impact. And Mama D, you know back in the day, you were there. You were there when you had to, when you had to, there was a water fountain that only you can use. You were there when you didn't have a, when you couldn't go to an indoor bathroom because you ain't looked the right way. You were there and you fought and people like you fought so that we can have what we have today. And then we have the audacity to not do what we need to do. Yeah, I'm talking about it this morning. I'm going to be Talk about it every morning. I don't even really care who you vote for. Well, not for real, but you got to vote. You got to vote, Lord have mercy. Y'all see my shirt? I'm wearing them every single day. But this is the thing. God has blessed us with so much. People have fought, bled, and died for us to have a particular right. This country, it needs us. It needs synergized sisters. It needs amazing women of God, amazing women of faith to do what we need to do in order to impact our communities. Sister, if you are in a community, sister, if you are in a school building, you work in a building, I don't care where you work, that's your community and God has given it to you to impact. Y'all, I got reinvigorated and reignited. Y'all ain't really never met you know, I was a, a mama D. I was something else back in college. I was something else. And one of my sheroes, Dr. Um, Dr. Janetta Cole, one of my sheroes was Dr. She was at the she was at the conference. She was at the convention. She was the she was the um, president of Spelman at one time. And when she was the president of Spelman, she was a commencement speaker at the University of Florida. And um, and um, I was on the stage. God blessed me to be on the stage as the most outstanding female leader of that class. And 4,000, 5,000 people in that class. And I was there and I took a picture with Dr. Cole, Mama D. And I lost it. I lost the picture because I am spicy. I lost the picture. And I went up to her at the convention and I reminded her because she now, um, um, I, she's like 86 or something like that, Mama D too. She's in her high 80s. And she said, well, I was still the president of Spelman then. I was like, yes, ma'am. And, and I took a picture with her um, and just it it reignited in me the understanding of women of God and women of faith. It is our duty to impact our community. Uh, and so and so I just really had an amazing time. And as I'm navigating so many different things and you all see it. And oh, yeah, y'all. Y'all see me smiling this morning. Y'all see me looking it that it ain't about what you, you don't have to look like what you're going through, Mama D, right? Because in the midst of that Rochelle, in the midst of that conference, once again, what y'all think happened? That boy got lost. Y'all was just talking to him two weeks ago. I'm at the conference and navigating some things and he looked strange. Buddy, what's going on with you? And next thing I know, buddy, where are you? And next thing I know, I'm navigating with Patrick in Baltimore, Maryland. In Baltimore, Maryland, I'm navigating with Patrick. Because now he has gotten himself and gone to some smoke shop. You can't go to a smoke shop. Like, a, nobody don't need to go to the smoke shop. But anybody can walk up in there. Babies can walk in the smoke shop, Mama D. You go in the smoke shop. Your brain can't handle the smoke shop, Patrick. But you go in the smoke shop. And you, you get a, a, one of these, these vaping pens. And the next thing you know, you have full-blown psychosis. Don't even know where you are. But guess what, Mama D? I knew where it was. I knew where he was. And so as I'm there, sisters, and this is the thing, it doesn't matter what you navigating, doesn't matter what you navigating. If you really give it to God, if you really give it to God, he going to do what he does. And what I didn't do, Mama D, was allow it, Tiffany, to take away from that experience that God had for me in that. I was supposed to get something last weekend, last week. And then on top of it, I'm just going to read to you all while I was there because I kept texting Sam and so I was just, Mom, D, I was just like in euphoria. And then Sam sent me this text. And I'm going to share it with you all. I'm going to share the text that my husband of 31 years sent me. And I don't know if you've ever penned anything like this, quite like this to me. And then he said to me, this amazing feeling of energy, positivity, unbridled enthusiasm, and euphoria is because you are around the right kind of people and in the right kind of place that is specially attuned to you and your specific energy, 
and essence. It feels incredibly revitalizing to be able to absorb this kind of energy from other like-minded people. It shows you very clearly and without complication, you really like and in, and in an environment that best suits you. It is difficult to always be the person who is providing the positive energy to others and not getting it from them. This is the space in which you belong, eagle soar in rarefied air, but seldomly in flocks. So take advantage of this precious opportunity of a gathering of eagles because you are truly among your peers. Sisters, sisters, understand that in this space, in this synergized sisterhood, you are among your peers. You are among other like-minded women of God who are trying to live their best lives, who are attempting each and every day to live on purpose for his purpose. Understand that you are covered by this sisterhood. Understand that you are special. Understand that you are worthy. Understand that regardless of the trials that you are going through, you can celebrate and be victorious. Once again, I was navigating my baby boy, my big giant boy, whatever he is, I was navigating him in that space and we, I had to send somebody to find him. But Mama D, I don't even know. I might have shed a little bit of a tear, but I just wiped it off. I just wiped it off. And I just kept it moving, right? I just kept it moving. And then we're going to talk a little bit next week. We're going to talk a little bit next week about this amazing young woman of God that he gifted me with some years ago. I'm so excited that she is in this space with us. She's going to grace us this morning and bless us this morning as she's under the tutelage of Mama D. But we're going to spend some time talking about her on next week. And in your in your e-blast, you all got also the talking with Tiffany um, flyer. So if y'all want a dose of Tiffany every day, Mama D, if you want a dose of Tiffany every day, if you want to be motivated, inspired, and encouraged, Mama D, I had to ha uh, Tutu had to do it. Uh, what you call those? A meeting request for me because I kept for I kept forget. Tutu had to help me so I can remember to get on at seven o'clock. But we are going to support Tiffany. She will be bringing the lesson to us in just a quick second. But right now, I want you to join hands. I want you to join hands. And we're getting ready to pray this morning. We're getting ready to pray this morning and just welcome God because he already here. We're going we gonna to welcome him because he already here, um, Tutu. He already here. We're going to just welcome him. In. What's up? We're going to welcome him into this space on this morning. Father God, on this day, we lift up to you Roxy and Tutu and Allison and Amisa and Annette and Arvella and Bernice and Carol and Cassandra and Cheryl and Clarissa and Cynthia, um, uh, uh, Sister Cynthia and Deb L and Mama D and Edwina and Felicia and Felicia and Felicia Milton and Allison and Gloria and Mama Jewel and Joanne um, Bobbitt and Auntie Joyce and Joyce Smith, and Judy Bird, and Judy Bird, and Kim Pendleton, and Lashana Vance, and Lady Tanya, and Latoya, and Linda Taylor, and Linda T, and Lisa T, and Linda, and Mama Madeline, and Valerie Mayfield, and Manaya Perry, and Perry, and Michelle Bird, and Michelle Harmon, and Makita Bush, and Sister Godfrey, and Patrice Perry, and Patricia Tippins, and Kiki, and, and Sister Rachelle, and Auntie Renee, and uh, Sister Rochelle and Sister uh, Mama Rosemary and Shelly and Sharita and Sister Novella and Stephanie G and Teresa Finch and Auntie Terry Miller and Auntie Terry D and Tiffany Tunsil and Tanita Cole and Odette and Tanya and Trevor Miller and Yvonne Williams and 419-534-2778 and April Frazier and Kat Bryan and Nashawn Warren and anybody, Father God, who else came on while I was calling names, Father God, and Mama Nett, Father God, we lift up every single woman to you in this space. I say her name, Father God, because she matters, Father God. I say her name because she matters, Father God, to you, and she matters to this space. And Father God, it looks like one of the Tanyas I see is my cousin Tanya, who was, as 
She's in this space. She driving an 18 wheeler this morning in this space. And I lift up every single woman to you. You know what she's navigating in this space. Father God, in this whisper, I say to you, Father God, you know what she needs. She doesn't even have to utter a word for you to know what she needs. Father God, I ask that you be with her, Father God. Guide her, lift her, encourage her through, Father God, and help her to navigate life's vicissitudes, Father God. You know what she's celebrating. You know what she's happy about, Father God. We celebrate with her, Father God. We just thank you for this space. We thank you for every sister because she matters. She matters to me. She matters to this sisterhood. She is intrinsically woven into the fabric of who we are. And Father God, I praise you this morning. Mama Net might not be on. I'm not sure why we'll call her, but she's in her own home. And my baby brother Jonathan is with her, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, that she had a UTI infection that was causing some confusion, Father God. And I just thank you, Father God, for the knowledge that you have given us. And Father God, I, I just pray that I can share with others, Father God, that even through this experience, Father God, that you blessed and you kept my mother, you kept her mind, Father God. And I just praise you, Father God. And you've given us the opportunity to be able to just work with her where she is and get her to where she needs to be. And I lift that for all of my winter times two sisters, Father God, as Mama Madeline shared so openly with us last week. Father God, just where they are in this space of life, bless them and be with them, Father God, so that they can shine in their wintertime years. And I just thank you, Father God, for all that you are. And we welcome you here. And these now, and Father God, I lift up my baby girl, Tiffany who will come before us this morning and she will be used by you, Father God, to edify, uplift, and, and encourage each of us, Father God, on this journey, Father God. And these are all many blessings I ask in our son's name. Amen. I am a daughter of the king. And because I am a daughter of the king, I am beautifully and wonderfully made. And because I am a daughter of the king, my daddy loves me. What? <laughs> my daddy loves Roxy. And because my daddy loves Roxy, I love Roxy. And because I love Roxy, I'm free to love you. You are my sister. And I'm here for you. Take your time, baby girl. Tutu, give them all their time. And if we have to say goodbye on the other end and y'all pray out of y'all class, we're going to have our breakout time. We're going to have our full class. And we'll see anybody.